en question. Please be seated. Le président. Veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Reprise de l'audience. Court officer, could you invite the civil party TCCP7 into the court room? La partie civile TCCP7 dans le prétoire. President, uh, good morning, Madame Civil Party. May we know your name? Bonjour, Madame la Partie Civile. Comment vous appelez-vous? Civil Party. My name is Jan Sotchir. Jan Sotchir. Thank you. Question: Question. How old are you? Quel âge avez-vous? Answer: Réponse. I am 56 years old this year. J'ai 56 ans cette année. Question: Question. Madame Jan Sotir, please observe a slight pause before you Madame respond to the question. You need to see the red light on the tip of the microphone of the console so that your voice will go through the system. Ainsi, vos propos pourront être interprétés. So that the interpreters can fully interpret your statement. Question: Where Question. were you born? Donc, où êtes-vous né? Answer: Réponse. I was born in quarter five, Phnom Penh. Je suis né au quartier numéro cinq à Phnom Penh. Question: What is your current Question. address? Quelle est votre adresse? Answer: Réponse. I live in Jamka Chetbong Village, Phthet Prey Commune, Pusat District, Pusat. J'habite dans le district de Question, pour la what is your current occupation? Question. Quelle est votre profession? Answer. Réponse. Currently, I'm a rice farmer. Je suis agricultrice. Je As I also cultive le riz. In the commune office. J'ai aussi travaillé au bureau de commune. Question. Can you tell Question. the chamber your Father and mother's names. Pouvez-vous nous dire comment s'appelle votre Answer. père et votre mère? My father's name is Jan Sin and my Jan mother's Sin name is Oi Yaim. Oi Yaim. Question: What is your husband's name and how many children do you have? Answer: Réponse. Dear Yong is my Donc, husband's euh, name and we have five children. President, uh, Madame Chan Suchit, as a civil party before this chamber, you are Madame given Jean an Suchit, opportunity en tant que parti civil to state aussi, your sufferings and que vous avez endure, du que vous avez subi. or impact inflicted upon you materially, matériel, physically, physique, and psychologically. Ou psychologique. Which are the direct result of the crimes occurred, which led you to become a civil party in this case, and which have been charged against the two accused, that is known G and Q Sampon, and which occurred during the Democratic Cambodian regime 
that is from the 17th of April 1975 to the 6th of January 1979. Lead co lawyers, uh, which lawyers are assigned to question this civil party? You may include all the assigned lawyers for civil parties for today's proceeding. Um, the president the for today's today proceeding and for the remaining civil parties that is TCCP7 who is present TCCP in this courtroom. Ms. Christine Martino Madame will Christine put Martino questions to her. As for TCCP13 who will testify via video link déposera par liaison vidéo question by Pascal Aubon c'est maître Pascal Aubon qui s'en chargera and for TCCP 198 dans le cas de civil party for today's proceeding 198 la dernière partie civile prévue pour l'audience aujourd'hui this is for your information, Mr. President, and first allow President Martino to put the questions to this civil party. President, yes, and you may proceed. Good morning, Mr. President. Good Bonjour morning, Your Honours. Good morning to everyone. Uh, je voulais juste avant I simply que, uh, Madame, uh, wanted Chan, uh, before chat, uh, the civil party uh, starts speaking, pour, uh, parties, uh, I simply wanted uh, to provide all parties the deux, um, uh, index numbers of both uh, documents. Her donc le premier document first of all, à la cote D22 slash 3858 one et uh, le deuxième le Je donnerai éventuellement les ERN en anglais en Khmer, ils ne sont pas tous en français d'ailleurs, le deuxième, le dernier que j'ai cité n'est pas en français. Les ERN Khmer sont 00584794 jusqu'à 98. Il y a trois pages. Trois pages, c'est plus facile de parler par page. C'est plus facile pour moi de parler par page. Et le premier document, 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 le Onze, soixante-quinze, jusqu'à soixante-dix-sept. Madame Chan Sochiet a déposé plainte en mai deux mille dix et a été reconnue par le juge d'instruction. Admitted as a civil party after having filed her application in May two thousand ten. Dans son ordonnance de recevabilité le dix septembre deux mille dix. Je vais donc so, euh, laisser la parole to à euh, cette partie civile qui a traversé euh, tout le régime She Khmer Rouge. Elle avait 18 ans en 1975 elle a traversé cette tragédie et elle va vous en parler. Cette tragédie et elle va vous parler de ça. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. President, civil party, you uh, may proceed. Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, all the lawyers. And Bonjour à tous. allow me to proceed. On the 17th April 1975, as the rest of the Phnom Penh residents were immediately forced to evacuate from Phnom Penh. De Phnom Penh dû la ville, quitter la ville. I had 13 blood brothers and sisters, including 
my parents, there were 15 of us in total. Avec mes parents, nous étions so I had several younger siblings and the evacuation was very difficult for us. Nous était très the war was oh. ended and I hoped the peace would come. But on the contrary, at around 9 a.m., Khmer Rouge soldiers with weapons entered our house. Des soldats Khmer Rouge armés sont entrés dans notre and maison. They told us to leave the house for Ils nous ont three dit days. De quitter la ville pour trois jours. As they needed to get rid of the enemy. Car ils devaient se débarrasser At des that ennemis. time, my parents prepared our meal, and Nos we could not repas. even eat the meal yet. And another group of soldiers came to force us to leave urgently as the, it is imminent that the Americans would drop bombs. Upon que hearing que that, we were all very scared. Après avoir entendu cela, nous so nous we only peur. could manage to bring a bicycle and a motorbike to carry nous. some belongings. And we did not nous even have the time to eat our rice. Bicyclette, une and we had to bring some hot water containers for the younger siblings. Des bouteilles d'eau chaude pour les en route, les the situation was even more difficult. When I reached the Monivong Boulevard, I was shocked to see the people en masse. I saw people with the drop très surprise de voir tous ces gens. on their hands. Hand. Some vu died along the road, some were crying for their children and family members. Pleurer, car ils As cherchaient for my leurs family, enfants, leurs we famille. gathered everyone and we nous avons kept tout le monde. watching, walking et rather. Nous avons we crossed the Chibamper Bridge and we stayed for three nous avons nights at the Chiba Amper. Nous sommes restés trois Pagoda jours. There. Awaiting à la to return de, to de, Phnom Penh. Attendant de pouvoir retourner à Phnom Penh. But what they told us was a lie. Mais ils nous ont menti. We were not allowed to return to Phnom Penh, and we were forced nous pas eu le droit de retourner à to move further. Et on nous a forcé à poursuivre notre chemin. My family then came to rest at Kinsvai district. And during the six month period that we stayed there, we experienced great toute la période nous sommes restés là, nous the avons vécu de grandes difficultés of food, en raison du manque de nourriture. Food. And we did not bring enough food with nous n'avions pas and apporté the food assez de nourriture avec nous. Et nous avons donné que grains de maïs et il n'y avait pas de viande ou so de it was légumes. Hard, et c'était très difficile, siblings. surtout pour mes jeunes and frères. Et ils ont and perdu the beaucoup de sister, poids did not have any breast uh, milk, Et so she only could uh, have the maternelle. liquid gruel, and later Et on she died. We did not have any uh, belongings with her, we only have a small money, and we could not afford to do anything, and later on the money faire. was no longer Et used. Uh, par la suite, there was la a great burden on me and on my father. After the six-month period, Après la période the Anka six months, leader there made an announcement that for those people who left Phnom Penh would que be allowed to return Penh to Phnom, le droit Phnom, Penh. De à Phnom Penh. My father was extremely happy upon hearing that because he was an engineer Il était un and when the war ended, they would need the educated people to la guerre, ils prepare and to rebuild the country. Although we people whispered to us that it was a lie, but in his mind he was determined to return to Phnom Penh because of the poor living conditions of the children. And if we were to return to Phnom Penh, that would change. Et cela changerait si l'on rentrait à Phnom Penh. At 5 p.m., we boarded a motorboat, and there were hundreds of families on that uh, motorboat. Il y avait des centaines de familles dans le bateau. And we reached the riverfront, 
in front so of the Royal the... Palace. And when okay. we looked to the west, we saw the light reflecting from that direction, and we were so pretty happy Et nous to avons see vu, that donc, scene. De la because we knew that now we arrived in très Phnom Penh. Everybody nous on the boat cheered. Tout le monde à bord du bateau a applaudi. There was a man who was about 30 years old who shouted that bravo, now we arrived in Phnom Penh. Une trentaine d'années a crié bravo, nous sommes enfin à Phnom Penh. That person was called by the Khmer Rouge Et outside Khmer Rouge and a uh, moment later we heard two Et shots being fired. That deux man fell in through the water. Upon seeing that situation, everybody cela, became silent. Tout le monde Not even the children. The children also became silent. Les enfants, tout le monde a gardé le silence. In very early morning, the Boat arrived in Kampung Chenang and we were distributed Plus with three cans matin, of rice. Le bateau est arrivé à Kampung and Chenang, each can was for three people. And we were there awaiting to be enfin, to board de riz, the pour trois personnes. to pull that. That Et was at the junction of the Liege River station. And then we stopped at Liege in Mongrisay district. Nous dans le district de Montbrousseil. The situation in my family as the rest of other families, pour ma famille comme pour les autres familles, in particular for other families who had younger siblings who could pour les not plus jeunes walk, familles et qui avaient de jeunes enfants qui ne pouvaient pas marcher. And we were still forced to travel on foot et nous and we went to live at Prater Teng village. Nous nous déplaçons à pied et nous sommes allés jusqu'au village de Prater Teng. The situation there was inhumane. There was nothing, no house. It was just a plain jungle. Il n'y avait rien là-bas. Pas de maison, il s'était que de la jungle. And to the south of the road, there was an old rice barn. Et au sud de la route, il y avait un vieux village. And there were three houses for the district soldiers. Upon arrival there, we were instructed to clear the forest and build our own house. Donc, nous nous a dit qu'il fallait défricher la forêt et construire nos propres abris. And a meeting was held, and we were instructed that upon coming to live here was of a collective nature. We ate, we would eat communally, and we would work communally. Et que nous allions travailler de façon collective. I and I, my elder sister, were asked to work in the female unit. Et mes jeunes siblings, certains travaillaient dans le groupe de femmes. Chez mes jeunes enfants, certains travaillaient dans le groupe de femmes. Certains d'enfants et d'autres étaient restés avec mes parents. My father cleared the land, ploughed the field, a défriché and planted a labouré. Il a planté des légumes, including pumpkins. We were asked to build dams, and the ration was five cubic meters per day. We were only given a ladder of watery ground. The situation was miserable. The food was insufficient, and the food was too heavy. I became very sick. And my father asked me to be returned to the house. Je puisse retourner à la maison. When I came home, the situation Quand became even worse. Maison, situation All my younger siblings were emaciated or swollen because the food there was even worse than I was with the female unit. Although Car over at the female unit, I was given a ladder of watery gruel, but at the house, there was no test at all of any rice. It was just Mais ruined nous, rice maison, with a little bit of morning glory. Il n'y avait pas de riz. Il y avait simplement un petit we peu de soupe de riz. We had to manage to eat whatever we had, and we were not allowed to go and find anything else to eat. Et quelques légumes. As you could imagine, over there it was just si a field of jungle, and if we were to be caught, then we would be treated as an enemy. My siblings could not eat, could not eat fully, and they could not even sleep because of hunger. Manger à leur faim. Et ne pouvaient pas dormir car ils avaient faim. I was so pitiful on my younger siblings. Et j'avais très pitié d'eux. 
they were so hungry and if they could even have the rice with salt to eat fun. they would be very very happy et s'ils avaient pu manger my quelque chose, ils en auraient été très my heureux. Could not do Mes parents, for my nous ne pouvions rien faire pour mes jeunes frères et sœurs, mais nous pouvions tears. simplement Next morning, two of my younger siblings died. We did not know what time they passed away. And they continue to die. And my youngest daughter, um, sister Jiang, during a meal time, before she died, she begged for just a piece of rice to eat. Au moment de manger, avant de mourir, elle a supplié qu'on lui donne un petit, morce, un petit peu de riz à manger. That is a tragedy under the Khmer Rouge regime that I could not ever, I could not forget. Des aspects we tragiques du régime Khmer Rouge que je ne pourrai jamais oublier. Like nous, animals. nous avions très faim et on nous donnait de la nourriture comme à des animaux. A fortnight later, my father died. Une plus tard, mon père est mort. In early morning, in fact, I saw him uh, sleeping. Mm. I went to uh, wake him up. Allé le he voir un matin. opened his eyes and asked me what time réveiller. it was. And I yeux, looked at the sky and I thought it's almost, I told him it's almost 7 a.m. He closed his eyes and then he died. He mort. died in his sleep. Il est mort. I could not help him at all. Je ne pouvais pas l'aider. My mother became seriously ill, Ma mère est and I malade. decided to go to the cooperative to send her to a hospital. Dans la when they came and saw that my mother was unconscious, then they made a letter authorizing her to go and hospitalized at the Moon Hospital. I was happy at that hospital. She was given some injection and gave her some rice to eat. When I got the rice, I imagined, I thought all the time, if my siblings were still alive and were given the, this kind of rice, then they would not die. My siblings died out of hunger, not out of any disease. Mes frères et sœurs ne sont pas morts de maladie, mais sont bien morts de faim. My mother got a little better and then she uh, was returned and then I was uh, sent uh, to cultivate rice and long comb. I met my sister. I was terrified. I saw uh, my sister uh, physical look. She was quite, she was very thin and skinny. Uh, she was forced uh, to work and we did hard labor. Those who work uh, very hard and met their quotas, we were given only uh, one or two watery, uh, lead all of watery rice uh, at that time. And just a few uh, weeks, uh, I got senior. And if we could not meet the quotas, we would be bitten. Uh, they were very harsh on us. Seeing such uh, great suffering, I decided donc, to tell lie to the unit uh, chief uh, that uh, our house had uh, clothes, uh, shred clothes, and uh, this could made into a hammock. Et I told them, and they, uh, uh, in exchange, they gave us uh, three cans of rice. And then the next morning, uh, we left. Nous I actually uh, persuaded my sister uh, to partis. leave with me. Uh, my ma sister could uh, dare not uh, leave with me because uh, she got ma used to uh, walk across the uh, quiet jungle and, and forest. And she once uh, stepped on uh, landmine as well. And uh, she was uh, very frightened. And then I asked her that there was nothing to be afraid of now. We had to risk our lives, so we had to uh, leave. Uh, so with the three can of rice, we uh, left. Uh, when we uh, walked across the uh, forest, we did not know where we were heading for. I did not know uh, where we should be. I should be going. I waited for three days for my sister. I did not see her. I did not see her at all. I saw nobody in the, in the forest. I only saw the... Uh, 
uh, the vest uh, of a wolf in the forest. So I waited uh, in the forest alone for three days and nights, and then I decided to uh, walk toward the village. Uh, when I got back to the village, I did not see my mother. My mother was uh, gone, and I uh, decided to cook. Uh, the three can of rice uh, I had with me. I uh, prepared, uh, and, and then I got uh, very sick at that time, and I decided to go to uh, uh, a hospital, uh, a place where people were uh, being treated. And to my surprise, when I got there, I saw my mother. Uh, she was swollen. Uh, her body was swollen. And I, uh, a few days later, I decided to uh, leave uh, the the hospital. I did not go anywhere far from the from the hospital at that time because I had to uh, know my mother's uh, health uh, status because she was in critical situation. I did not have anything to eat at that time. So what I could eat was the uh, junk pumpkins I could uh, steal at that time. And I uh, the life was uh, miserable and indescribable. I cooked whatever I could get at that time for myself and simply to survive for the day. And I thought that I could never survive uh, at that time. I, I uh, changed uh, the... Uh, I actually uh, requested uh, the... A uh, unit chief uh, over there that I had to travel to uh, another place to meet my aunt call. At that time, I uh, told uh, them that uh, I uh, uh, would leave uh, for my aunt call. And uh, I told them that uh, the chi unit uh, chief would ask. Uh, the other people to take uh, people from other from other unit. I saw uh, Nguyen Chia. Uh, he was on the bicycle. He was riding there. And then he was asking where I was uh, going. Um, and then he actually uh, told uh, the unit chief at that time that uh, we were under uh, the umbrella of Anka. So uh, there was no... Uh, difference. So he actually uh, asked uh, the unit chief uh, to uh, give me some food. Uh, I actually at that time opened uh, the rice pot and I saw rice over there and uh, a Cambodian sour soup and I uh, dropped my, uh, my, I could not hold my tear at that time. I was wondering why these people in this area could have uh, some things to eat while I had uh, gone hungry. Hungry for many days, or many months already. Uh, I saw the food, but I was uh, I was so uh, uh, shocked that I could not actually even uh, eat uh, it uh, right away at that time. During uh, the harvest harvesting season, uh, I uh, could recall I went to. Uh, collect uh, waters, and then I saw uh, my uh, sister, my sibling, uh, falling down on the edge of the water, and uh, her leg was uh, swollen. I walked my sister uh, to the hut. And my sister told me that uh, one of my sister had already died because she had a fallen from a house, Après and then her head was hit to a hole, and then she uh, died. I was so sorrowful at that time. My sibling died one after another. <laughs> I had to be uh, punctual uh, when I had to uh, harvest rice. Uh, when I one day when I returned uh, to uh, from my work site uh, to my hut, uh, I was very shocked when people told me that my sister uh, had already died and they had buried uh, my uh, dead uh, 
sister, I was very shocked. I could not uh, describe it uh, in words. This was really suffering. I tried to uh, regain my spirit. I tried to work to satisfy them. But of course, I only had my physical uh, strength, but my spirit was actually away. My soul was taken from me. A few days later, some villagers, villagers who were sent uh, to join me in harvesting crops, they told me that my mother's health condition was uh, critical. I went to my unit chief uh, telling uh, him that I would like to ask for leave uh, to visit my sick uh, mother. And then this uh, village chief actually uh, blamed me, saying that uh, I was not a medical doctor. I was not, uh, so I was not allowed to go. And from that day onward, I could never see my mother face anymore. I was on mobile. They sent me from one place to another to cultivate crops. In 1977, the food regime uh, was not sufficient. Uh, we, uh, ten of us, were given only three cans of rice. Uh, we only had a few ladle of watery rice, and we had a uh, Communally, we did de not have actually uh, pot by Nous rice cooking pot by ourselves. We only have one uh, spoon uh, with Nous us, and uh, we were given only watery rice, and then we had to drink water from the stream nearby, uh, the, the contaminated uh, uh, stream of water. A month, uh, we would be allowed only one or two days uh, to uh, visit uh, our family. When I went to the village uh, to my uh, terror, my my mother uh, was dead Quand je suis allé au village, and this was the last times that all my members uh, in the family were uh, killed. I was alone. At that time, I was really lonely because all my siblings, my family members were all killed and uh, they or died. They actually punish us uh, all days. Uh, they ha we had to meet the quota, Chaque otherwise we would be accused of being the Vietnamese uh, enemy. Uh, we were considered a uh, feudalist. Uh, they contempted us. Uh, they threatened to hit us with a hole. So we had to uh, work extremely hard at that time beyond any human uh, capacity uh, to handle the hard labor uh, they put down to earth. Inhumain. The President, uh, thank you. Uh, Council, you may proceed. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Je crois que c'est très très dur pour vous de, de, de revivre ces moments. Very painful for you to go vous avez effectivement perdu 15 personnes de votre famille, you lost 15 members of your 7 family. plus votre père dans les deux premiers mois où vous êtes arrivé dans la région de Pursat, de Batambang. In addition to your après, father, when you first arrived in Pursat, and then your elder sister, a young brother, another elder sister. Revivre and tout ça I can well understand that vous. having to relive these si vous le voulez, experiences is uh, something je pense que, uh, vous vouliez dire quelques, uh, If you want, vous vouliez dire à la chambre pourquoi vous étiez là, pourquoi vous, vous, a, vous avez tenu à, à déposer <coughs> plainte uh, contre donc, Excuse me, why you are here, why you wanted Rouge. to bring si vous voulez, this pour vous aider, là, against the Khmer Rouge regime? Uh, Passer à, à ces conclusions, si vous avez trop mal pour parler, euh, je vous poserai quelques questions this, après qui vous permettront de euh, dire également un certain nombre de choses sur les attitudes qu'ont eues vis-à-vis de vous euh, les dirigeants de Mercouche. 
attitude the Khmer Rouge leaders took to people like you as well. Please, uh, the court and national and international lawyers, I have uh, one question I would like to put directly to the co-accused. I have always wondered why the three years, eight months, and 20 days were so cruel. Why did they do all of this atrocity? I have uh, endured tremendous uh, suffering. It was so painful that I decided uh, to file my application to join as a civil party. I want the court uh, to seek justice uh, for my family and for the Cambodian families at large who have lost their loved ones. I decided to uh, file my application to join uh, as a civil party. I am a surviving witness uh, who uh, witnessed the atrocities uh, by my own eyes. Uh, I saw the suffering of Cambodian people. I hope that the testimony, the uh, particularly my my experience uh, uh, from the democratic Cambodia, uh, will uh, contribute to uh, the court finding justice for the victim. And now I would like to request uh, the uh, co-accused uh, to admit uh, their guilt and to apologize uh, to those uh, who died uh, during the period uh, so that their soul uh, will rest in peace. Madame, <coughs> est-ce que... Um, Vous m'avez parlé de vos enfants qui sont nés euh, après 1980, donc qui n'ont pas de réponse, that it was very hard mais j'aimerais que them. vous de, nous donniez en fait vos réponses, but car je crois que like c'est important de savoir comment issue, vous avez survécu, quelle a été votre force pendant ces, ces trois années, huit mois et vingt jours, et comment euh, vous expliquez à vos enfants ce qui s'est passé. How you explain to your children what actually happened. Again, uh, my respect to the judges and everyone, I would like to respond to your question. Uh, of course, my children ask me uh, the same question uh, according to the description of the suffering I had endured. Uh, it was beyond uh, human uh, uh, capacity uh, to bear and why I could uh, survive uh, during that period. Indeed, uh, I endure a lot of sufferings. I had to move uh, from one place to another. I had to steal um, something in order to eat. I did not have any um, sufficient food uh, to eat. I uh, actually survived on stealing the uh, young pumpkin uh, of watermelon uh, to eat. And I witnessed a lot of uh, suffering uh, of other people as well. When I was working on the rice uh, field, uh, sometimes I was asked uh, and transferred to uh, help uh, in the work site somewhere else and in the evening uh, we were on the way uh, back soir, uh, to our uh, place uh, we saw uh, people being ki uh, people killed and the dead body and the ladies who came to ask me actually were killed uh, herself uh, on the hill when we were walking back uh, home this was uh, really uh, frightening uh, I 
could not uh, do anything at that time but to try and work uh, as hard as I could uh, so that I uh, would not be accused of being enemies or being a feudalist. The President. Thank you. Now I hand over the floor to the co-accused uh, to respond to the question put by the uh, civil party, uh, Mr. Kiu Sampon, uh, how you would respond uh, to this uh, question by the civil party. And secondly, uh, the civil party uh, wishes uh, to request uh, the co-accused uh, to make a public apology uh, to those uh, families who uh, have uh, suffered uh, from the regime uh, so that uh, those who died uh, would uh, raise in peace. Uh, you may proceed, Mr. Kiosampon. My respect uh, to the chamber and to everyone, and my respect to Madame Chan Sotir. I have listened attentively to your Madame statement concerning the suffering you had to endure and the loss of your family members. You lost your lovely parents and Vous children. I am terribly shocked by your statement. Les êtres qui vous étaient chers, y compris vos parents, votre déclaration m'a bouleversé. After listening to your statement, it Après comes to my mind that those uh, who inflicted such torture, je me dis a torturous act uh, on your family, these people were not ordinary people. They were uh, the uh, cruel people. They were merciless. Cruels, those who did not spare on the people's life, they did not even bother to find out uh, what uh, would be good and what would be bad. They did not even leave any times for people to adjust themselves uh, to the situation. Actually, uh, we, uh, I found it uh, terrifying when you said uh, that uh, people who were accused of being enemy or people who fainted to be sick or feigned to be sick or something. Uh, these uh, people were really cruel and they were senseless. Even though I am not a leader of the Democratic Campuchia, I was not uh, the person who made the decision on the political direction of the Democratic Campuchia. I shared the suffering uh, with you and your family. And I would like to express my sincere sympathy and I would also like to express my apology to you, your family, and the national compatriots. I made it clear this morning uh, that Cambodian family members who had endured these atrocities, I, want, I, I only want to uh, once again uh, state uh, that those who committed these atrocities were not ordinary people. They were uh, the merciless uh, leaders, the president. Les dirigeants impitoyables. I would now um, hand over to Mr. Nguyen uh, to respond to the La question put by the civil party or the request uh, made by this uh, civil party. Ainsi la demande de cette personne. Mr. Nguyen Chia. Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Bonjour, Honours Monsieur and everyone. I am Nguyen Chia and I would like uh, to respond je to the Nguyen question Chia put by Madame Chia. I have 
clarify time and again uh, that Democratic Kampuchea Comme je l'ai dit à plusieurs reprises, does not have any a policy to kill uh, its own people. It does not have any policy whatsoever uh, to deprive people of food. We want uh, our collective, we want to gather our collective force, uh, our national force in order to prevent our country from being invaded, uh, from being swallowed uh, by the neighboring country. And we have to unite in order to liberate our country uh, from imperialist uh, power. So I would like to take this opportunity to once again uh, pay my uh, express my sympathy uh, to those who lost their life. I would like to uh, also uh, share my condolences with the family, and I would like to reiterate once again that the Democratic Cambodia uh, had a good purpose for the nation and the people alike. Uh, each and every one of us sacrificed our personal happiness. We sacrificed ourselves uh, for our nation, and I would like to once again uh, say that I respect I respect uh, uh, the uh, soul of the uh, national compatriots who sacrificed their life, who lost their life during that period. The president. Thank you, Mr. Nguyen Now I hand over uh, the floor to the uh, prosecutors to put the question to the uh, civil party. If you intend uh, to do so, you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, good morning to you, uh, Mr. Chan Sotia. Can I just ask some questions, please, to begin with, about the time when you were transferred from Phnom Penh to Phnom Svai? Am I right that you remained at Kien Svai for about six months? Environ pendant six mois, comme je le pense. Cap. Yes, that is correct. Réponse. Effectivement. During that six month period, Durant did cette période de six any mois, of your siblings die? Est-ce que certains de vos frères et sœurs sont morts? During that period, one of my siblings died, my sister died. Uh, what was the name of your sister and why did she die or how did she die? Sapir, she died because... Uh, she did not have the breast milk uh, or the milk uh, to drink. Uh, uh, at that time, uh, there was no market. Uh, we could not uh, find milk anywhere uh, for her to drink. Uh, so at that time, uh, what she had uh, to uh, drink uh, was the watery uh, rice uh, with uh, some little sugar, and then she uh, could not stand that, and eventually she died. How many other people died during the six-month period at Kingsway? During the period I stayed in Kinsfai, I actually did not pay attention to other family members. I cared for our family members. We could not even help ourselves and our members uh, in the family. During our stay over there, one of my sister, uh, the only family member at the time, uh, died uh, because of the reason I said. There came a time when you then described being on a boat Vous avez dit and arriving at Phnom Penh. Et être à Phnom Penh. But then continuing on a journey Ensuite, vous avez poursuivi votre where you eventually arrived at Ukriyek village. village de How did you get from, first of all, Phnom Penh to Kampong Chnang? vous êtes-vous de Phnom Penh à Kampong Chnang, pour commencer
Just so much. I left Phnom Penh uh, for Kampong Chenang. Actually, uh, they took us there by boat. The new people are uh, all uh, had to get on board the boat uh, and they left from Champa Pagoda and then we went all the way uh, to Kampong Chenang. There was one scene that was very scary and I still had that uh, memory. The Khmer Rouge uh, called out a man and then that man was shot uh, to death because that man uh, only expressed his happiness when he got to Phnom Penh. He said, uh, bravo, we got to Phnom Penh. And then suddenly this man was called out by the Khmer Rouge and he was shot a few times uh, uh, to death. How did you get Question. How did you get from Kampong Chnang to Ukriek? Comment êtes-vous allé de Kampong Chnang à Ukriek? When I got off the boat, uh, we were given some rice and we had to wait for a truck. And we got on the truck uh, to uh, Liege, uh, somewhere near the railway station uh, over there. And then from there, we got on the train. We left Liege uh, in Posad province to Okrit uh, in Mongrusei district. What were conditions on the train like? Quelles étaient les conditions de voyage dans le train? When we were traveling on the train, this train was uh, separated into wagons, different wagons, wagons, and they also carried uh, animals uh, as well. And uh, we had to uh, put our stuff uh, over there. They, uh, we were not given food or drinks. Uh, we had to uh, be responsible by ourselves. So when we got off the truck, we had to uh, find the nearby uh, pond in order to collect water to reserve it for ourselves during our travel. And as for rice, uh, when we got to one stop, we were given rice at that particular stop. Did you have a choice whether to be on that train or not? No, not at all. I did not have a choice to choose at that time. We were uh, required uh, to go. A military personnel at that time forced us to go and uh, uh, if we resist we would be killed because they were armed with rifle. So we had no choice whether or not we uh, decided to stay, we decided to stay or we had to go. So we had to go at that time because we were fearful of uh, being killed because uh, thus far we had already witnessed that only a man expressed his joy when he got the plum pen. Uh, he uh, was uh, shot to death as a result. After you arrived in the big forest at Ukriet in Batambang province, who was your first sibling to die after you arrived in the forest? Who was the first member of your family who died after you arrived in the forest? When we got uh, to uh, Prey to Tung, uh, village, or known as the uh, dog biking man, uh, one of my younger brother sibling was uh, killed because of starvation. Was uh, died because of starvation. You know, in the time when you were at this location, aside from your brother. Can you even give us a rough idea how often people were dying from starvation? When we were staying there, it was the hell on us. 
quand nous étions là, c'était l'enfer. My families and other families who were evacuated over there, they were targeted as a feudalist. We were associated with uh, Vietnamese or, or uh, Chinese uh, descendant also. Some uh, families uh, lost uh, some members within a period of a week. Uh, my family members died, uh, some six to seven family members uh, died uh, of starvation. We did not have anything to eat at that time. We only had some uh, wild uh, plant to eat. And after eating those wild plants, some of us uh, suffered uh, from uh, serious diarrhea, and we died one after another. Thank you. I have no more questions. The President. Thank you, Mr. Prosecutor. Now I hand over the floor to the defense team for Mr. Nguyen Chia to put the question to the civil party. You may proceed. Council Sonaron. Mr. President, uh, your honors, the defense team for Mr. Nguyen Chia do not have any question to put to the civil party. The President. Thank you. Merci. Now I hand over the floor Je to the defense team of Mr. Kiu Sampon. Council Kung Simon. Thank Merci. you, Mr. President. Uh, Merci, may it please the court, I have one question to put to the civil party. You said uh, you had witnessed the Khmer Rouge uh, soldier shot a man to death on the boat uh, when uh, the boat got to Phnom Penh. Uh, how far was it? Uh, uh, how far were you from the scene when the man shot? Uh, when the Khmer Rouge soldier shot the man? Response. Thank you. Thank you, Council. You would be. You may have been aware that uh, the boat was big. There were hundreds of families uh, who were uh, carried by the boat. And I saw uh, the man uh, quite close to me because the man who expressed his joy when he got to Phnom Penh, actually he was sitting by my side. Uh, he only uh, stood up and said, bravo, we got to Phnom Penh now. And he was only expressing his, uh, his joy at that time. And then suddenly the Khmer Rouge soldier who were guarding at the door gate, uh, he called the men out. I did not know what they were actually uh, talking to each other, but uh, the men asked uh, the uh, the man uh, who was uh, sitting beside me at that time, but at that time I could not hear that conversation because the boat was, uh, engine was really noisy, but then the man was sought. Question. Question. Uh, can you tell the court the time, the time difference between the man when he expresses joy and, uh, and then uh, he was later killed? Response. When we left uh, Champa Pagoda by boat, it was about 5 o'clock in the afternoon. I did not have any watch, but when I looked back, I saw the, uh, it was almost uh, dusk already. Uh, and we uh, traveled on the boat uh, until uh, almost dawn. Then we got to uh, Kampung Chenang uh, at, at dawn. Question. No, actually, my question is the uh, time between uh, when the man uh, expressed his joy, saying, bravo, we got to Phnom Penh, and the time when he was uh, shot. I just would like to know the time span uh, between uh, these two uh, incidents. Uh, can you please uh, tell the court? Response. I actually uh, did not pay attention to the time. At that time, I was so terrified uh, uh, that I could not uh, remember anything. But I uh, could only recall that uh, uh, the man uh, shouted uh, out with joy that, uh, bravo, we got to Phnom Penh. And then everyone uh, was surprised. Everyone was looking around. And then this man was called out by a Khmer Rouge soldier to a door gate. And then they were talking a few words with each other. And then the man was killed instantly. I did not actually know uh, exactly the time span Mais between the two incidents. I cannot respond to you in terms of the uh, time span or how many minutes exactly minutes between the two incidents. 
question. Could I say that uh, it was uh, less than five minutes? Is that correct to say so? Could you please uh, repeat uh, your your statement because your mic was not activated just now? Response: Yes, it was about five minutes. I think uh, five minutes time. Council, thank you. Did you observe that the man who called uh, the uh, the man you described out uh, did uh, he have any means of communication to uh, talk to his superior, for example, down uh, in the uh, uh, cabin or, or not? Appelé celui or qui avait créé du bois, remarquez s'ils avaient des moyens de communiquer uh, avec uh, le him. supérieur qui était peut-être dans la cale avant de procéder à l'exécution. Response. Réponse. I did not pay attention to the situation uh, at that time. I did not know uh, the role of that uh, person either. I only knew that this was the man who ordered uh, the uh, boat to leave uh, the bank of the river, and then he was the man uh, who was uh, standing all the time over there uh, on the head of the boat. Question: Do you know uh, his role and his name? À la proue du bateau. Response: No, I do not know. They did not uh, tell us. They did not tell us uh, his uh, position. But uh, we only knew that he was a Khmeru soldier who was in charge uh, of taking us. Uh, by la the boat, uh, council. Uh, uh, I do not have any further questions, Mr. Mr. President. Thank you. The President. Thank you, Madam Chan Su Chiet. Uh, thank you. Chan Your uh, statement of uh, suffering that you had endured during the Democratic Cambodia period uh, comes to an end. Uh, so, uh, your testimony is no longer uh, needed. Uh, you, may, you are released, and we have actually recorded uh, your statement. I believe that your statement will contribute to ascertaining the truth. You are now released, and I wish you the best of luck. A court officer is now instructed to uh, coordinate with the waste uh, unit uh, to uh, assist uh, the civil party to return uh, to anywhere she wishes to go. For parties, members of the public, uh, this morning, we have uh, heard the testimony of uh, uh, two uh, civil parties already, and then uh, this afternoon, uh, we are going to resume uh, hearing the testimony of TCCP-13 and uh, TCCP-198, and we will resume at 1.20. The time is now appropriate for adjournment. Uh, the chamber will resume at 1.20 this afternoon. Security guards are instructed to bring Mr. Thieu Sampon to the holding cell downstairs and have him return to this court room this afternoon before 1.20. The court is now adjourned.